Now I'd like to ask you some questions about your life, Susan. You might find them very personal, but it's important that you answer me as honestly as possible. Fine. Let's get it over with then, shall we? I'd like to go home at last. Of course, I understand. So, Susan, let's see. Are you living alone at the moment? I live on my own, and it suits me just fine. I don't need anyone. People mostly bore me. Sometimes they annoy me or upset me. I'm happy with how things are at the moment. I have my little bit of space, and it's my own. It's private. I'd like to keep it that way. What do you do for a living? I'm between jobs at the moment. I'll find something soon. But it's been difficult. I didn't feel that great. I felt weak and powerless and tired most of the time. I felt really awfully tired. Typical depression symptoms. We can give you something for that. You'll feel stronger and motivated. I admire your faith in modern medication, Doctor. I hope you're right. Describe to me what your mornings look like. What is the first thing you do each day? I lie in bed, awake. Can't bring myself to open my eyes. I see. I'm scared of the coming day. I know already what'll happen. And what's that, Susan? Nothing, really. Nothing at all happens in this stupid, empty life. Sometimes I wonder why I even get dressed. What for? For who? I hardly ever get out of the flat anyway. Would you say that you feel safer at home than outside? I... yeah, I suppose. It's not really about safety. I've just felt sad for a long time now. Really sad, you know? Somehow it brings me down even more when I go out and see all those happy, successful people. It makes me feel more like a failure. If I don't see it, it doesn't hurt that much. What do you think is missing in your life? Or rather, what is one thing that you think would make your life better? A good friend. Someone I could finally trust. But I can't see anyone will turn up anytime soon. I've become a social hermit. People avoid me. You'll have to try to open up a bit. Hopefully the suicide watch worker will work with you on that. Don't think it'll help much. I heard they're not very good. Really? Sorry to hear that. Have you ever attended group therapy for depression or some other form of counseling? No, I'm not sure it's a good idea. Especially the group therapy thing. I'd hate it. You should at least give it a go first, and then decide. If you don't like it, we can think of something else, yeah? If you insist. But I doubt it'll help. Do you have problems sleeping? Rarely. I sleep well most nights. If anything, I probably sleep too much. Would you describe for me how you feel at the moment? I feel like the whole world is against me. Do you find it hard to concentrate? Yes, sometimes. Do you drink alcohol, Susan? Only sometimes. I'd suggest you don't consume any alcohol at all for a while. Does that sound like something you can do? Yeah, sure. I'm not a big drinker anyway. 
Sometimes, when life gets too much and people feel sad or upset, they think about suicide. Do you often think about suicide? I. Yes, I think about it often. But now, I know I can't do it. Still, it won't just go away that easily. I need more time. I need to think it through. I need to find my peace with the world, I guess. Please, in your own words, try to explain to me why did you really try to take your own life, Susan? Nothing was making me happy anymore. There wasn't a single thing that would bring a smile to my face. I kept thinking, won't it be better if I just disappear? I tried. I really tried to find something. Took a long bath. Picked up a book. Watched some television. But I just couldn't get into anything. All those things seemed like worthless distractions. And I myself felt obsolete. Needless. It just would get worse and worse. By the afternoon, I realized I cried for the past three hours. I... I didn't even know I'd been crying until I went to the bathroom and saw my face in the mirror. I looked like a ghost. I looked like I was dead already, you know? And then I saw the sleeping pills. I thought, why not? And I did it. Do you feel as if you're a burden or that life isn't worth living? Sometimes. When I feel really low, I just... I used to think everyone would be happier without me. But I guess people don't really care. Besides, I live alone. Who could I be a burden to? What makes you feel better? Work used to make me happy. I mean, my old job, when I was a nurse, it's been a while since I left. Why did you? I realized I hated the whole system, you know? I didn't really fit in that well. And yesterday's events reassured me I made a good decision quitting too. What makes you feel worse? Loneliness. I wish I had someone to talk to sometimes. And yet you seem to avoid people. Because they're only interested in themselves. Not all of them, surely. I'm beginning to think you are actually afraid of finding a friend because it would force you to come out of your shell. Call it what you like. I'll sure be glad when I find the right person someday. Have you imagined your funeral? and how people will react to your death. Probably nobody would come anyway. Can you imagine it? Now that's a sad picture. Loved by no one. Missed only by some cats. No tears shed for me. No flowers on my grave. But that's okay. I never liked flowers. I wouldn't miss that. Finally, I'd like you to tell me about Eric. Eric? Yes, your husband. I believe this might be important. What can you tell me about your relationship? What had happened between you two? I... I don't really want to talk about this. <laughs> Fine. I suppose you've opened enough for one day. Okay, one more question. This is just a formality, but I have to ask, are you going to do it again? That's a hard one. I don't know. But hey, I've got it. The answer is no, I'm not. Thank you very much. Excellent. We're nearly done here. There's just one more thing I must clear with you. What exactly happened last night? Well, after I'd met you outside the ward yesterday, I went back to my room 
and fell asleep. I slept really well, considering what happened earlier. But then someone woke me up. It was the same nurse who was so friendly with me the first night. She said we needed to talk 